In this video, you learn how to check copyright strikes on your YouTube channel in 2020. 70 degrees in the middle of winter, so I thought I'd take a bike ride along the bicycle trail. So beautiful. There's two kinds of copyright strikes. One is copyright infringement, where you've taken somebody else's content and used it in your video. Number two is a community guideline strike where you violated the community guidelines policies. You can view copyright ID claims and copyright takedowns in the YouTube Studio app. Tap the YouTube Studio app. Tap the menu. To see which videos have a copyright claim, tap videos. Now you can choose any video to see its details page. If a video has information about a content ID claim or a copyright takedown, it will show a copyright icon. There's two different colored copyright icons depending on the type of claim that is being issued against your video. The blue copyright icon is a content ID claim, which means that you uploaded a video that contains copyright protected material. The red copyright icon is a copyright strike, which means that your video has been taken down from YouTube because a copyright owner sent YouTube a legal request asking them to do so. Here's how to check copyright notices from your desktop. Let's go over to my computer so I can show you the different ways to do it. Log into YouTube channel, click on YouTube Studio. You'll immediately see any channel violations in your channel dashboard. To check for copyright claims for individual videos on your channel, click Videos. Click Filter. Click Copyright Claims. Now you'll see all the videos on your channel that have received copyright claims. If you want to see more details about the copyright claim for a specific video, Hover over Copyright Claim and click See Details. You'll see the channel impact, the visibility and monetization. You'll also see the content used, the claim type, impact on the video and the actions you can take. If you click on Select Action, I can trim out the segment, replace the song, mute the song or dispute the claim. In this case, it's not a copyright strike, so the ad revenue will be paid to the copyright owner. Always upload your video as private or unlisted first. This allows you to address copyright issues found by Content ID before posting to your subscribers. If you want to learn more about what happens when you get a copyright strike, how to resolve the copyright strike, and the best practices to follow, watch my next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.